Hi, my name is Ruth, and this is Think Like a Boss Devotional for Activating Our Minds. Devotional for Scripture, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, 3 John 1, verse 2. In order to think like a boss during uncertainty, we have to keep both our minds and bodies active. When life throws disappointments at us, and it's only natural to want to climb back up into bed and hide under the covers, in order to keep our minds clear and to keep and to make our sound of decisions is crucial we exercise. But what do I know is this, when you you keep your body distant during uncertain times, you are choosing to keep your body steadily as well. Moving your body, changing up the scenery, or getting out from under the covers keeps your mind active. As a business owner, you face adversatory, adversaries quite often. As much as it is a privilege to be your own boss and make the big decision, it can also feel, feel heavy. There are days when doubt and paralyze creeps in. You learn if you don't step out of the situation, you will slip down a rabbit hole of lies. You were never equal qualified to do this work. Your life is too much of a mess to move forward. How can you deal with how can you lead others when you're not even feeling confident in this area? So many thoughts come in mind. Three John one one two, which says, "Beloved, I pray that." All may go well with you, and that you may be good health as it goes well with your soul. Yes, good health goes well with our soul. So when your soul is aching and when your mind is clouded, just start moving. This doesn't mean to have to mean to go for a mile run, but it can be simply by walking around your house, combating those lies with scripture, organizing your closet, taking your dog out for a walk, testing a new recipe, working on a craft, and that could continue just to be active. Can be anything that you could create movement in your body, distracting your mind from your current reality to encourage you to cast your cares on the Lord. Recently received some disappointment news rather than choosing to sleep I made a conscious decision to be active, doing things I love, 
rather than having a pity party land. You practice to accept of what's happening and begin strategies, strategizing how to move forward. I give thanks to the Lord. And I asked for his wisdom to deal with situation at hand. The next time you find yourselves dealing with uncertainty, get your body moving. Reflection. Often it's hard to come up with ways to move while you are on in a funk. Write down three ways to move your body that are natural for you to choose from the next time you are feeling uncertain and your vision is clouded. To quickly join out to go prayer, use when find yourself needing God's wisdom in the future. When I am walking, I will just say, Lord, show me it can be that simple. Three, don't you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God? You have not your own, but you were brought at a price. So glorify God with your body. 1 Corinthians six nineteen through 20 3 John 1 2 says, Dear friend, I pray that you are prospering in any in every way and are in good health just as your whole life is going well. I hope this is a blessing to you as it is for me. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.